Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I am going to explain about the different business process which are available in SAP. We will start with order to CAS. I already prepared a detailed playlist related to order to CAS. You can check this one and uh, in step by step, you can refer that one and you can practice. It is going to help you for your preparation point of view. The sales process or it is integration between your FI and SD. Now, if you are finance consultant, then this part is important for you. If you are SD consultant, then sales and distribution is important point of view. But when we are talking about O2C or order to cash cycle, so in that case, the both the modules are available or integration is important for you. Now, uh, when we are working as a consultant, so that time in project, we have both FI and SD consultants are going to work. But nowadays, companies are looking that you should have an end-to-end -end implementation experience. So in that case, the both configurations knowledge highly it is required. So that's why in my live sessions, I used to uh, cover the complete end-to-end -end process related to different business process because as a consultant it's not like you are only going to work on the O2C every business process will be there but this is one of your business process so as a consultant you should know the business process you know various activities related to this order to cash process and you should configure both the systems and its integration because that is very very important one right so here I'm going to explain the business process and uh, if you are working as an end user so this one is going to help you because all the configurations and all not it is not going to require so first thing is we are going to have customer and we are going to sell something to the particular customer right so that is our sales process so when sales accounting point of view maybe you will say that customer is going to debit and revenue is going to credit you must have studied in that way or uh, uh, theoretically if you will try to explain in this way but in reality when we are working on business so that time various other activities are there for example a customer has prepared some purchase order and that purchase order we are going to convert into our sales document so that is known as your sales order right so it is going to start from the sd team or the sales team now business point of view sap product point of view you are categorizing sd finance uh, like uh, cost all these things but business point of view everything is part of their business process right so that's why you should familiar with everything so you are, you are supposed to responsible for creating the sales order how to create the sales order i already prepared this video you can refer that one so once the sales order is created then next we are going to deliver the goods to customer or it is your shipping activities so when we are doing the shipping again another logistic activities so with reference to the shipping then it will be goods will deliver to customer or goods issue will be there and first we are going to create the sales order S sales order will be converted into delivery note delivery note will be converted into pgi post goods issue and finally we are going for invoice now with reference to this uh, goods issue so there will be accounting document will be there and uh, with reference to sales order again if we are working on the uh, predictive analysis in that case accounting document will be there otherwise there will be no accounting document with reference to sales order whereas when we are going for goods issue their accounting document also will be there so i will show you from the sap point of view so the accounting entry will be whatever you are selling that means the product its cost so cost of goods sold is going to debit and the finished stock suppose you are selling the finished stock that is going to credit so that will be your fi document with reference to your outbound delivery now that cost if you are working on the copa margin analysis so if we, if let's say a cost of a product 450 so from where we are going to get that cost again the costing team is involved here for calculation of the cost so that's why you will find that entire business process is integrated with each other right and that is what business uh, i mean job point of view or project point of view it is required so you are familiar with everything you should know that from where i got this cost if it is showing in the uh, outbound delivery so cogs account is going to debit and fg stock is going to credit and this will be your integration the moment one user is going to perform the goods issue automatically this accounting document will be generated so accounting document is cogs account debit and your fg stock is going to credit so all, already i explained there in so once again i'm not going in that detail but quickly you should know that first sales order sales order convert into delivery note delivery note is converted into PGA post goods issue and with reference to that this accounting document will be there and once this accounting document will be generated then this 450 the cost will transfer to your 
COPA, internal cost calculation, uh, cost profitability analysis, and it will transfer to your income statement too. Next, the billing. So normally we know that billing is part of finance, but no, billing is part of your SD. So sales team is going to prepare the invoice. And with reference to that invoice, you are going to have a accounts receivable means the finance team is responsible for collection so that's why they should check how much receivable items we have but how we are going to get that the moment the sales user is going to process one invoice the accounting document will be generated so customer is going to debit and sales is going to credit or any other items like sales reduction will be there output uh, tax will be there so those items will be there but with reference to the billing document once the invoice the moment i'm saying billing document it is part of your sd invoice again with reference to billing document your accounting invoice will be there right in finance also one copy will be generated but finance user is not going to perform that sales invoice once the sales invoice posted then automatically your accounts receivable is going to update then after that your fi team is going to do the collection so anything related to collection that is responsibility of the finance team but the process from one till this one it is your sales activity so that's why it is known as your order to cash starting from order till collection and you will find good number of openings in this profile particularly if you are working as an user or you are looking to start your career in mnc good number of profiles you will find this one so any part of this uh, like they will hire you on o2c profile order to cash profile and they can assign any work so as a user you are not going to perform everything so maybe you will be involved in sales order then or you will be involved in the billing right or you will be there in the reconciliation so any of the area you are going to work and the entire process will be configured by consultant and if you are preparing for consultant then definitely the finance configuration the entity configuration and fis integration along with the copa so that is uh, highly required okay now let me show you the next if you'll check this image which i have captured from uh, fury and it is uh, this is the application name so man is billing document so what i ex uh, processed here i just processed here one sales order so this is my sales order the sales order converted into outbound delivery. So this is my delivery document. The delivery document converted into invoice. And with reference to that invoice, my accounting document generated. Now this is a FI document. You can see journal entry is there. So if I will go to this system and if we'll check this document 14,000, then you will find the complete information is available with reference to that particular accounting. Now let's say I am the finance user and with reference to this 14,000 document, I want to see everything, okay? So let's cross check this particular image in our SAP system. Now you can see this is my finance document. So with reference to this finance document, I'm going to check everything. Or you can say this finance document generated when we perform other activities step by step, which I was showing in the system, right? So right now I'm in system and if I want to see everything related to this finance invoice, okay this finance invoice you can see accounting point of view you can uh, see here customer is debited here revenue credited sales reduction uh, debited and ta taxes credited here now who posted this entry no one is posted this entry this entry posted by system automatically when something else performed in the system and as i said this is this document will be generated when some user is going to perform the outbound delivery or simple language you can say sd customer invoice if i want to see the original document this is not the original document this is the output document this is the original document which we have seen in the ppt so what is the document number nine some zero seventy four just cross check okay so this is my fury data and this is right now in the on-premise system but i want to see the complete information i want to see all the documents related to this process so you can see here everything is there so sales order created one one three then uh, outbound delivery done this is our logistic document material document generated with reference to that we got here accounting document co part i'm not involving here because copa is also configured here that part is there but let's make it simple so finance document also generated with reference to this outbound delivery let's check this document so here are some items we delivered to customer so two items we delivered to customer and as a result then we got here the accounting document so cost of sales debited and fg stock credited and with reference to that i have also configured the profit center accounting as well as copa so that's why this profit center and co part is also updated then finally we perform the billing document 
we performed the uh, uh, billing document yeah this is the billing document and finally we have the now if we'll collect it it's already collection done then it will be end of your order to cash so when you are saying that i have the knowledge of order to cash if you are preparing for consultant then you should you should have a complete configuration it's not just one topic it's a complete process you have configured and you have tested right along with all the business partner is involved here and uh, other copa configuration is in involved here so order to cash is also you will find some small projects it is part of your projects and sometimes some roll out all projects also you will get related to order to cash and if you are a user then you should familiar with all the business process you should familiar with all the steps and uh, configuration of course it is not required for you but uh, you should familiar with every activity so i will suggest you can go through the uh, playlist which is available you can check that you can practice those things in the system so that you will get more clarity about on this particular process now coming to the next process that is purchase to pay opposite of your sales that is your purchase to pay so in purchase we are the customer and we are going to purchase something from the vendor so first will be the purchase requisition then purchase requi requisition will be convert into purchase order so first will be purchase requisition purchase requisition will be then converted into purchase order then vendor is going to supply the goods to us so next will be goods received now where we can expect the accounting document purchase requisition no accounting document purchase order again internal document so there also no uh, accounting document will be there so it is part of your mm module this is also part of your mm module and gr is also migo that is also part of your mm module but with reference to goods received you will expect here the accounting document so what the product we are going to receive that is let's say we are going to purchase the inventory so inventory account is going to debit here and grir account is going to credit here so grir is going to credit so it's not like purchase to vendor right so it will be whatever you are going to purchase it may be asset it may be anything whatever you are going to purchase so that one is going to debit and grir account is going to credit and this is one clearing document so if you have received the invoice first so in that case grir account is going to debit if you have received inventory first which normally you will find uh, then in that case grir account is going to credit so grir is going to credit here then after that invoice will be generated or the gr goods received will be converted into invoice so next will be invoice this is again mm activities means procurement activities and with reference to that we are going to have the invoice then finally your accounts payable team or finance team ap team anything you can say they are going to make the payment so payment means of course bank is again involved here so the process is p to p procurement to payment p to p ptp anything you can say so this is the again another important business process and many jobs are available on this p2p process from the user point of view and consulting point of view again here the required configuration should be mm configuration the fi configuration and its in integrations fi mm integration so this is also the uh, like you will find comparatively your fisd integration this is the more complex one because it is also connected with your product costing because once you will purchase something then the, those materials you are going to convert into your finished stock so that that product costing is connected with this particular module but if you are preparing from the user point of view then i already prepared the playlist you can check that and you can practice those and if you are preparing for interview then these configurations and integrations everything will be there first you understand the business process then do the required configuration configuration th then again the data uploading or the master data then after that you can do the various type of testing so let me show you here some images here which i have captured again from the system like i have created the purchase order purchase order converted into goods receipt goods receipt converted into invoice now this data is for from the logistic point of view with reference to purchase order as i said there will be no accounting document but with reference to gr we will find the accounting document is generated this 50000 document is generated with reference to goods receipt and this is a accounting document if you are familiar with document type you can see it is we with reference to invoice we got here the accounting document so document type is re then finally once we are going to make the payment then you will find the payment document will be generated so this is your end of procurement to payment which is starting from po and 
accordingly you are going to end with your payment again in payment you are going to uh, whether you are going to make the payment through app that related configurations will be there if you are going for uh, app then bank configurations will be there so that is the other part but it is related to your p2p process so when you are working on ap uh, p2p maybe you will be there under your core ap team or maybe you are there in the integrations or maybe integration will not be there user point of view uh, but configuration point of view, yes, integration activities will be there or you will be there reconciliation in reconciliation team because sometimes you will find GRIR account balance is not matching with your invoice. Some month end activities also will be there. So it's just a process point of view I explained, but so many activities are there and I'm sure you in interview you have get a lot of questions related to that one. I will try to create some interview series related to P2P and O2C, but I want before that you should familiar with the business process and you should practice which is there in my playlist then time to time i will add uh, interview questions for both p2p as well as o2c so these are the major important business process in next video i am going to explain about the uh, asset acquisition so asset acquisition is also another important business process that also we are going to explore thank you very much